right here something a little fun for tonight uh, this is another way to uh, spin a rotor and uh, this little structure that I built up that has the uh, the bearing and a piece of flattened out brass wire and then underneath there's a Phillips head screw that the needle runs in down in there uh, is pretty neat I've, I've enjoyed working with a, a, a new structure for a rotor and I've been showing it uh, with a regular uh, magnet rotor and a coil and driving it uh, you know, with a pulse of this and pushes the rotor around and I thought I wonder if it'll work electrostatically and boy it did and that's an electrostatic motor I'm running it off of a negative ion generator um, that's the output of the negative ion generator and then the other side of the motor goes to the ground and then I'm just using the uh, computer uh, power feed it's 19 volts or whatever they put out and then I got my little friend here Maggie acting as the load and uh, what is on there is a neodymium magnet diametrically magnetized on the outside faces and that is connected magnetically geared to the little ball in her mouth there and it rotates that little ball in this coil of very fine wire and produces enough um, voltage to light the, the LEDs up. Uh, there's a bridge rectifier on the back, but there's no batteries. Anyway, um, this is pretty neat. Uh, like I say, it's an electrostatic motor. Uh, what there are is um, elements, aluminum uh, elements on the outside, and then these uh, two brushes, um, one there, and then there's one over here that tap that rotor. I'll stop it here. You can see it. And you can see the uh, the elements on the rotor. They're just pieces of aluminum tape. And then the little brushes are aluminum foil. And that's all there is to that. And as it goes along there, it uh, charges and discharges that rotor and rotates the rotor on that needle on those bearings and uh, with that neodymium magnet spinning up there um, you've got a way to take the power off of it and so that's one of the problems with these electrostatic motors is they don't have much torque so you have to be careful how you take the torque off of them the power so you don't lose it to friction and this is the way I've been doing it is using a neodymium magnet and then uh, using a uh, a way to take it off using magnetic gearing and uh, anyway that's just something that uh, is a little unusual that uh, I was trying today with this new uh, structure with uh, smashed <laughs> brass wire with a little hole drilled in it and the needle goes through a, a plastic lid and goes down in there to a, uh, a Phillips head screw at the bottom of the sharp part of the needle goes in the Phillips head screw and then it's oiled up. But anyway, that's just something a little a little different tonight uh, to show how this uh, new structure that I'm working with uh, actually works pretty darn good. Thanks for watching.